Good morning from day five of IBC 2011. I'm Angus Mackay from Avid, marketing manager for the Pro Video segment, and I'm here with Simon Westland at the Black Magic booth. And uh, Simon, uh, how's the show been for you so far? Fantastic, thank you, Angus. It's a bit like you, day five, so it's feeling a bit long at this stage of, uh, of the event, but it really has been wonderful this year. Very good. Uh, same is true for Avid. We've been showing a lot of uh, new products and uh, made some great announcements at the show. One of the ones that I'm excited about is uh, the use of DNX HD by many of our partners, and Blackmagic is one of them. Simon, can you tell us a little bit about how Avid and Blackmagic uh, work together? Yeah, most certainly. I think it is exciting. One of the benefits have been our booths have been adjacent here in the show, and we've been showing uh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, with full Avid DNX HD support, uh, but also now in Resolve 8.1, we've added the round trip with AAF. So literally moving in and out of an Avid environment into DaVinci Resolve has become a couple of click process. And that's really nice for users, because if they do want to go into Resolve, finish their product and grade that product um, with the benefits of Resolve, it makes it so simple to move in and out of their Avid workflow. Uh, and of course, the easier we can make that for customers, the more they like it. Absolutely, it's great. Using DNX HD is very useful. You keep one set of files, use one type of media, and forget all the transcoding. And thanks to the AAF, all the project settings come across too. So a great round trip, nice workflow. Now, you've got a great panel that works with Resolve, but if I'm not mistaken, we've got an Avid Artist Color Panel driving it as well. You have, absolutely. And again, that's part of an extension of that policy to give people the opportunity to use the tools that they already have. And the uh, Artist Color uh, Panel is obviously a very popular panel and we had a lot of requests from users to say could we get support for that in Resolve and we're showing it right here on the booth so it gives the customer their their own choice really to stick with the hardware that they're familiar with and that they like to use um, and it's just a great example of again using with the AAF support with the DNX HD with the artist color control panel there really is a good avid story there between the Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve and your great products. So that's on the video side, and it sounds great, and like we're really working hard to satisfy customers' requests for easy workflows. What about on the audio side? Because I know you guys have a great role to play there, too. Sure. I think the Pro Tools relationship was, was one of the first um, collaborations that we had together as, as organizations, um, where a lot of the um, users of the Blackmagic Debt Link and Multibridge range of, range of products were Pro Tools users, and they wanted to use their Blackmagic Design Video I.O. as the HD output for their Pro Tools suites. And uh, we kind of had that going around 18 months, maybe even two years ago now. Uh, and it's been a, a, an immediately successful collaboration uh, where we've seen an awful lot of Blackmagic Design hardware uh, being used by Pro Tools users. Thanks a lot, Simon. Uh, so as you can see, Avid and Blackmagic working very closely together, whether it's on audio or video, working hard to bring you nice, easy workflows. And of course, Avid keen on working closely with all our third-party partners so that you as Avid customers have choice and flexibility in your equipment and workflow setup.